All right, hello, Sam Meredith here at Atwater High School, and we are going to be running a 7018 1G butt weld. With a Miller XMT350, we're going to be about 135 amps. I have my two uh, quarter inch coupons here set up, and I'm going to space them out about an eighth of an inch. And the way I'm going to space them out is I'm going to take a little electrode nub, and uh, i got an eighth inch electrode here, and I'm going to put the, the bare coated wire in just in between the two pieces to set my gap to one eighth of an inch. Now there's a whole bunch of these used stubbies all over. Grab one of those and we're going to use that for the tack weld. We're going to tack weld on one side. So we're going to tack this corner together here, this end. Quick little one second tap. Of course, I accidentally weld that. That's okay. I'll just pop right off. Okay. And of course, when we weld these two metals together with the tack, it kind of opened up a little bit. So we're just going to kind of slam it down. That closes the gap to an eighth of an inch. Okay. Now it's important that on 7018, you need to chip off this slag where you tack. Chip all that slag off so that way as you're running your bead and you get to the end, you don't get a slag inclusion. All right? Okay, so the motion I'm going to use on this 1G butt weld the 7018 is I'm going to take the electrode, I'm going to strike it up, I'm going to start on one piece and do a side to side motion, hitting both pieces evenly. I'm going to watch that puddle spread out, and as the puddle's building up, I'll have forward progress. Just slight back and forth, melting the two edges together and filling the seam with the wire core in the electrode. So here we go. I'm going to run about a 10 to 15 degree pull on this rod. Doing a slight side to side dancing motion. About 135 amps on DC electrode positive. Nice smooth arc. Keeping right at the leading edge of the puddle. I'm gonna watch that bead just fill right in between those two pieces. Keeping a relatively little stick out here, about an eighth of an inch arc gap. Getting close to the end. We're going to pause right before we go over the edge and just let it fill. So we're going to see that glow go away. And we can already kind of start seeing the the slag is starting to just peel up a little bit, it's starting to crack right on the toes of the weld. So as this begins to cool, you'll see that slag will separate from the weld bead. Just kind of give it a little help here. We're not really beating it, we're just kind of sliding it right off. You can see a nice little even ripple. Take our brush and clean it up. Okay. And we'll check the back for even heat marks. And look, we've got a little bit of melt through along with the flux that burnt through with this, making that slag that just slides right off. Good heat, good penetration. 
That's a 7018 butt weld in the 1G position.